Sunley Bay over the Deal Hot Plate into the red Southern Minstrel Moorcroft Boy and finally Feathered Gale as they jump the second and Moorcroft Boy made quite a bad mistake at that one going to the first open ditch fence number three and Indian Tonic bowling along in front as expected by two and a half lengths another lovely jump at that one Moorcroft Boy was better that time but has only Feathered Gale behind as they go to the fourth Indian Tonic from Watt Fettle over the Deal and Sunley Bay. And that's how they jump that one. Into the red jumps up past Sunley Bay. So does Hot Plate and the last three, Southern Minstrel, Moorcroft Boy and Feathered Gale. And as they go across the Melling Road, it's Indian Tonic going comfortably in the lead from Watt Fettle as we join Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, he really enjoys this place, doesn't he, Indian Tonic? Indian Tonic, a uh, couple from Watt Fettle into the red. Going the shortest way on the inner towards his outside. Hot plate in those famous colours carried by Red Rum. Spot him with the sheepskin nose band towards the left as we see them at the moment. But Indian Tonic, the leader, as they come down to what would be number 13 on the first circuit in the national. Indian Tonic from Watt Fettle and into the red and on the near side hot plate going well with over the deal just in behind them coming to the next and uh, still Indian Tonic from Watt Fettle into the red and hot plate and over the deal and behind them Sunley Bay and then comes Southern Minstrel Moorcroft Boy and the back marker Feathered Gale as they come down to the chair number 15 in the national number 7 this time Indian Tonic jumps it beautifully and they're all over it and coming down to the water now Indian Tonic the leader from Watt Fettle hot plate on the near side and into the red on the far side and over the deal next and then Southern Minstrel then comes Sunley Bay and behind Sunley Bay is Moorcroft Boy and finally Feathered Gale so out into the country now for a complete circuit in this Crowther Holmes Beecher chase and still the dual course winner Indian Tonic taking him along from Watt Fettle and into the red and hot plate and Southern Minstrel and over the deal then Sunley Bay and Moorcroft Boy and Feathered Gale and they come to the Melling Road now and as they cross it we rejoin John Hammer and Indian Tonic still the leader as he has been from the start Watt Fettle is in second place then into the red is close up as they come to fence number nine this would be the first fence in the national and they're all over that all nine still standing as they come to the tenth fence with Indian Tonic hugging the inside Indian Tonic over first from Watt Fettle then into the red over the deal on the inside then on the outside Hot Plate followed by Southern Minstrel, Sunley Bay, Moorcroft Boy as they jump the next open ditch and still Indian Tonic has increased his lead now from Watt Fettle then into the red Hot Plate on the outside as they come to the next plain fence and Indian Tonic led over it all jumping well Indian Tonic by about five lengths as they come to the one before Beaches Watt Fettle is second, then into the red, Hot Plate, Southern Minstrel, Sunley Bay, over the deal, Warcroft Boy, and finally the Irishman, Feathered Gale, Sunley Bay, not a good jump, and now they're coming down to Beecher's Brook, and Indian Tonic put up an exemplary display of jumping so far, Watt Fettle is second, into the red is third, and this is Beecher's Brook, Indian Tonic slightly out to the right, jumps it well though, they're all over that. Feathered Gale just nodded at the back of the field. At the Foynhaven fence, the one after Beaches, and Indian Tonic is going to lead over it by about five to six lengths. Into the Reds come up on the inside of what Fettle to take second. Moorcroft boys improved into fourth, but several lengths behind the leading trio as they come to the canal town. And Indian Tonic jumps it in front of Into the Red and Watt Fettle who are together then Moorcroft boys followed by Southern Minstrel this is Valentine's for the second time in this race and Indian Tonic over first from Watt Fettle Into the Red Southern Minstrel Moorcroft boy and Hot Plate has fallen in the red rum colours 
and coming to the fifth from home now. An Indian tonic by two lengths only now, and Moorcroft Boy has fallen, a heavy fall. That was the one he made a mistake at on the first circuit, and coming to the last open ditch, four fences from home. Indian Tonic leads by two and a half lengths from into the red. What Fettle, Southern Minstrel, they're clear of Feathered Gale, then Sunley Bay, and finally over the deal at the third last. An Indian Tonic gone three lengths clear now, jumps out well from into the red, then Watt Fettle and Southern Minstrel disputing third. A big gap to Feathered Gale, Sunley Bay, and finally over the deal and going across the Melling Road with two to jump and still Indian Tonic with into the red Watt Fettle and Southern Minstrel all plenty close enough there well clear of Feathered Gale as we join Peter O'Sullivan and Indian Tonic still winner of last year's Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase winner after that of the John Hughes Memorial Trophy over this course bidding for his third course triumph Indian Tonic from into the red as they race now towards the second last fence in the Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase. Indian Tonic under Chris Maud, clear of into the red, moving into third. Stealthily is Southern Minstrel with Watt Fettle right upside him as they jump. Oh, and he's gone! Indian Tonic a faller! Indian Tonic has fallen at the second last and left into the red clear of Watt Fettle and Southern Minstrel as they come to the final fence now. It's into the red clear. Into the red has just got a jump in. He does. He takes a bit of the fence with him but gets away with it well and he's full of running into the red striding away now towards the elbow where fortunes have so often changed so swiftly in the national but they surely won't do so here because into the red under Richard Guest is well clear southern Southern Minstrel is challenging for second place now, challenging Watt Fettle, and also coming from the rear is Feathered Gale. But as they race to the line, into the red, has won the Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase of 1994. It's a desperate race for the minor honours, with Feathered Gale just getting up to be second, and Watt Fettle third and four was Southern Minstrel, with five Sunley Bay and six over the deal. And those are the finishers from the nine who set out in the 1994 Crowther Holmes Beecher Chase and into the red, the 13 to 2 winner. The official result. First number five into the red, owned by Mr. J. Huckle, trained by John White and ridden by Richard Guest. Second was number six, Feathered Gale, owned by Mr. Eamon King, who's uh, recovering from uh, illness, and I hope this was a tonic. Uh, to you, Mr. King, how well he ran, trained by Arthur Moore and written by Francis Woods. And third was number four, Watt Fettle, owned by McKinnon Mills, the knitwear branch of Edinburgh Woollen Mills, 